So structure is the idea that when you draw, you actually draw like the inside and outside of something. Right? Just like with linear perspective where you're drawing everything going to the vanishing point, drawing through forms, you know, inside of a box. So if I want to draw this cigar box, what I first do is I open it up. And look at how it's made. Yeah. Notice how things are thick and there's like this little internal thing, you know, that holds the box kind of more together. Look at the joints, see how they're kind of these teeth that interlock. And then there's like a little platform on the bottom that all that sits on. Then there's the little latch and everything. And then these funny little pieces of stickers and the hinges. And this hinges is kind of, this hinge is kind of broken and offset. So I just want to notice all that stuff before I, you know, get started drawing. And then, um, you know, that information gives you things that you want to draw out conceptually when you when you go to draw the cigar box, right? So I still use linear perspective. My horizon line is up here. The object is all below it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and start in two-point perspective. And all I have to do to maintain halfway decent two-point perspective is make sure that these lines converge somewhere, right? Vaguely on the same vanishing point. That's all I have to do. And then I draw in the rest of the box. Right? But then I don't stop there, because I've only drawn three sides of the box. I haven't analyzed the whole structure, right? I actually have to go through and feel out where the inside of the box is. Do you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So now I understand the whole basic layout of the box. Now what I need to do is I need to divide it because it's in the top and, and bottom. And I go ahead and divide it all the way around, right? I know because I've looked at it that one of the hinges is broken, so I can see that there's a slight offset in the box. So I need to make sure that I draw attention to that offset in my final drawing. So there, I've nailed down the offset already, just by that little click. Does that make sense? So then what I do is, once I find the corner of the piece, I immediately want to get to that platform idea, right? That there's a platform supporting this, this structure. And I can use some of my kind of scratchy initial lines help me with that platform. And it doesn't matter if it's straight or not, whatever. To... I'm going to make sure to draw all the way through the forms with that doubled up sort of platform line. Make sense? Okay. Now I know that these sides have thickness, so I can I can make these little, those little tooth details. And those just go in linear perspective as well. So I've begun to draw out the essential character of the box. And I also noticed that there's a 45-ish degree angle at the top of the box. So I want to be sure to capture that, the little bevel. So it seems like a minute detail, but the more minute details you add, the better off you're going to become.
right? So I don't want to get into the printing, really. I could. But mostly I just want to analyze the structure. So what I can do where the where I see a shadow under the edge of the box, the deep absence of light, is I can start to increase that line weight a little bit. Decreasing it as I go back to the back edge, right? And I know that there's a little shadow under this part, so I can add it throughout here. Doing, doing the same sort of thing. Does that make sense? Then if I want, you know, I can add in like logo type stuff. Lay out where things would go. Add in range details. So that's all I really need to do to like analyze the structure of a box, right? The front, back, left, right. You know, if I want, I can put the latch. I don't think that's totally necessary. Or I can just indicate where the latch is. So you can be a little bit lazy with it. Okay. With a ball, I think, okay, well, I know a ball, right? But I don't know the intricacies of this one because it's like half deflated and there's like cracks in it and stuff and it's kind of a junky old basketball. But I know that it's gonna basically be a sphere, right? So I go ahead and draw out the sphere. And then what I need to do is I need to feel these lines that wrap around feel them going around the whole ball. So this is good practice for drawing people. And you want you want it to feel like these these lines are coming from behind the ball if possible. So really wrapping all the way around. Does that make sense? And then where you see a shadow, go ahead and draw the vague indication of a shadow and ground it. So what I haven't done is I haven't gone and drawn like the outline of the of the ball yet. Because I can I can do things like I can mess with that that structure where it's kind of collapsed. Because that'll change where the outline happens. And then where that form bends the ball, I need to kind of bring in the lines <coughs> away from the contour so that you can kind of get the sense that, that it is a distorted ball and I just haven't messed up, you know. So as I go and I, and I refine the ball a little more, I can begin to increase line weight in a few places. But I start increasing line weight in the markings on the ball first. rather than on the contour. And then what I can do, where I see this total absence of light, is I can start to increase the line weight of the contour of the ball there. And then up at the top, where it's all funky and wonky and bent, I can do that. So, after this, if I were really going to do the full thing, I'd find where the, the shadow core is, and then I would just divide light and dark. What's in shadow and what's not in shadow. And then just continue that into the shadows on the ground. Drawing without respect to the forms yet. And then later I'd come back and bring it back. But I can see where the outline of the, of the ball is Still, so I don't need, I don't really need to worry about losing it or bringing the outline back. Does that make sense? So, 
you know, again, draw a light like this um, and draw through everything. Make sure that you understand the structure of what's going on. Because if you don't understand the structure, you can't draw it. So if you don't pick up the object, feel it, feel how heavy it is, look at how it's, how it's made, you can't then break it down. Next class, we'll do a demo on how to break down really complicated objects into simpler structures like this. So if you have a super weird shaped boat-like thing, you want to break it down into like spheres, cylinders, cones, and boxes, because you can draw all those pretty easily. And so your sketchbooks could be filled with like tons of little box form practice. Just how do I draw a box? Tons of spheres, ellipses, and cones, etc. Right? Make sense?